Welcome to the exciting rebirth of Superstar featuring choose your membership rate as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, class passes for Synchronicity University, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of January 31st, 2021. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological week, a powerful one at that. And in many ways, it is this week that sets the stage, brings necessary truth and freedom and insight and understanding that gives way to next week. So to put it into context, next week, we've got the most romantic day of the year. We've got a powerful, energized new moon taking place not too far away from the Venus-Jupiter conjunction. There's so much to look forward to. This unleashing of energy, of blessings and possibilities in every area of life is set to take place. But it is this week that does set the stage for that because it is this week that gets us honest, honest about our frustration, honest about what is really going on where it comes to matters of heart and where it comes to matters of truth. This is energy that is at once grounded, but also surprising, irrational, but also truly realistic all at the same time. So let's talk about what's happening right out of the gate. The first energy takes place, perfects right around Monday for most people out there. And this is going to be the square configuration between the sun and Mars. So this brings with it intensity. It brings sparks. It is the sun right now that is in the sign of Aquarius. There is a party that is building in the sign of Aquarius. It's already started. And it is the sun that's gonna connect with Mars and the sign of Taurus. Now, whereas the sign of Aquarius is one of new ideas and brilliance and insights and forward movement, it is Taurus that is much more methodical, even paced. Aquarius relies on flashes to move forward, leaps forward into the future. Whereas the energy of Taurus makes a plan, takes a step one at a time in its own time. And Mars and Taurus in particular can be very plotting, but this can actually be a good thing. This invites us to own our power, to be in our power, to be aware of our senses that much more fully. But it is the sun in the sign of Aquarius, an air sign at that, that is very cerebral that is all about ideas, that is all about what is happening on wavelengths, including the things that we're talking about, that we're thinking about, how it is that we're connecting with each other in new ways. And so when these two energies speak in this way, it in some ways energizes that sun. It wants to take those ideas and make them real. But the fact that those ideas, those insights, that future, that is envisioned with Aquarius isn't here yet, that can be part of the frustration. Taurus is an earth sign. It cares about manifestation. It cares about embodiment. And so these two energies speaking in this way can lend themselves to sparks. Now sparks can be a great thing, right? Think about attraction and uh, the ways in which we are motivated to move our lives forward. And all of us, I do believe, in at least one area of life will glimpse some future, have some vision, have some insight that motivates us to look forward, to look upward. But then how to manifest that? Well, the determination is there to put in the time, to do the work, to commit to the process, to the long haul, to make that vision, that future, a present day reality, even if it isn't here just yet. And so that's the energy that we're feeling right out of the gate. It's very much on the surface. It's very visceral. That's the thing with Mars in Taurus. We feel it in our bodies. And that is what we're feeling right out of the gate. On the same day that this aspect is exact, Venus is going to change signs as well. 
moving out of the sign of Capricorn, where she was also in an earth sign, where she can be very diligent, uh, focused on higher ideas or goals or success or principles. And now here comes Venus moving into Aquarius, into an air sign where it is about futuristic ideas, the love for those ideas and the love for the future. But of course, with Venus having to do with an expression of love, an expression of beauty, it is in Aquarius that she encourages us to celebrate our own unique beauty. The more unique, the better. Encourages us to be our whole selves. Encourages us to consider ideas especially beautiful thoughts and connections and the ways in which we think of others relate to others when it is that we are aligned with humanitarian pursuits there is something about that that uh, is especially radiant especially with venus in the sign of aquarius so as venus steps into aquarius she becomes part of this celebration we've already got the sun there we've got mercury there and very famously we've got jupiter and saturn but now here comes Venus, the party starts to amplify. But before we get to all that good energy, it is Venus, it is heart, it is joy, it is pleasure that ultimately is going to ask us to get honest, ask us to get real. And this isn't always easy. The very nature of Venus is one to go with the flow, to enjoy life, to be present. The nature of Saturn though is to ask, what is real? What is being demonstrated? How are we using this finite amount of time in this incarnation well? And it is going to be on Friday that Venus will connect with Saturn in the sky. This conjunction is going to take place and it makes for a reality check where it comes to matters of heart, where it comes to matters of love, where it comes to matters of money and pleasure where is it that we've gotten very caught up in a moment and what is it that is actually happening what is actually being proven to us venus and aquarius can get very caught up in the thought of joy the thought of pleasure the thought of love the words of love the way that love is communicated but what is actually being shown to us it's the very famous phrase by Maya Angelou, when people show you who they are, believe them. And that is certainly true in matters of heart, especially with a week like this. And so Saturn has to do with honesty, right? It is stark what is demonstrated. Look at the actions, not the words. But then we have another energy on Saturday, and that is Venus square Uranus. And this is romantic surprises that create awkward situations that feel uncomfortable if you've got any kind of romantic surprise planned don't do it this week <laughs> i'm going to be really blunt about it. it would be a good idea to avoid it at least for this week but it is this energy of uranus that is also a type of truth it is clarity it is insight it is things moving very quickly it is a flash of knowing but it's also what it was that maybe we didn't see or we didn't know very quickly coming into awareness. It is the epiphany that can make all the difference, even if it is an uncomfortable realization. And yes, Uranus is the planet of surprise. Not all surprises go off as planned. Not all surprises are good. Sometimes uh, they really are such that they haven't been well thought out <laughs> at the very least. That's the kind of energy we have here. So both Uranus and Saturn, invite us to consider the truth. With Uranus, it is laid bare in the clear light of thunder. This is the god of thunder after all. A flash of insight. In an instant, we see what's really going on. In an instant, we hear and see through the words that are being spoken. We understand what is really being said. We are taken by surprise, yes, but ultimately, with Saturn conjunct Venus and Venus squaring Uranus. This is a realization that is needed. And the more it is that we've gone off in the clouds, the more it is that we've gone off thinking and hoping and wishing and dreaming, the more stark reality can feel. And yet it is necessary. 
yet it is part of ultimately what will lead us to make the most of the very big and beautiful blessings of next week. Now with Venus, we also look at things like fashion, our expression of beauty individually and collectively as well. Now I would say regardless of your sign, but especially if you're an Aquarius or especially if you're a fixed sign, like Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, this is not the time to be very experimental with your look, okay? Now the great thing about this earthly incarnation is that you can enjoy self-expression. You can play with how it is that you express your uniqueness in the world, including with your look, uh, including with the celebration of your unique beauty. It's just that sometimes when you're playing and you're enjoying, uh, we might try something a little bit different and we may think it's gonna turn out a certain way, but it really doesn't. Or it may be the case that we think something's a really good idea, but once we've embraced it, it really wasn't, or it wasn't what we really wanted. It wasn't the outcomes we'd hoped for. These are the types of scenarios that become possible, especially as we move later into the week. Now this can be everything from hair color to wardrobe to tattoos uh, and cosmetic procedures. So all I'm saying is you do want to be a little bit cautious and a little bit careful on that front. Now while I am of the belief that sometimes life just doesn't have enough surprises, sometimes there are surprises that we are uh, left scratching our heads, feeling uh, mixed emotions about, and especially where it comes to choices in love, choices in self-expression, some of that energy may be here at this time. So just take that into consideration if you are so inclined. I also think that culturally we are going to see uh, some examples of perhaps new styles being presented, uh, perhaps people presenting uh, a particular look, uh, people who are known by the masses uh, premiering a new look, and it may be met with mixed feelings or mixed results. Um, make yourself happy above and beyond all things, and it's a good idea to leave options open in case you change your mind with a sky like this. Now, ultimately, all of us are being asked to be more independent, to embrace our uniqueness, to celebrate our uniqueness, but also to consider in matters of love, where is it that we can be more egalitarian in our one-on-one -on -one alliances? That is part of what Venus represents. Where is it that we are wanting to evolve our relationships or evolve our understanding of what love is gonna be for us? Well, that sense of give and take or that sense of wanting things to be stable in a certain way, but also wanting things to change, wanting them to grow, wanting to move forward. This is going to be part of the pull and push that is going to be active under a sky like this. In our own lives, whether it is the concept of love, the concept of pleasure, even the concept of prosperity and what prosperity means to you, or whether it is uh, not necessarily personal, but we're looking at it more collectively. This is going to be part of the consideration and part of the conversation now. Another important point to mention, that is at the end of last week, Mercury officially went retrograde. So we are in a Mercury retrograde period, and especially with Mercury retrograde in the sign of Aquarius, it magnifies wonkiness that much more, especially where it comes to things like technologies. And so it becomes that much more important that we be patient with the technologies that we have available to us. I do believe that when we get to the end of this decade, we are gonna look back at this time and almost feel as if some of our technologies that we think are so revolutionary now, uh, possibly were actually quite primitive compared to what we are going to be using uh, in terms of on a mass scale once we get towards the end of this decade. It is that powerful a time. I have spoken about this in the Decade Ahead Horoscope. I will link to it below. But I wanted to mention this now because we do have this Mercury retrograde in a sign that rules technologies and the next technologies. Not the time to be taking on new technologies or buying like a new smartphone, especially if it is from a 
a very different platform than what you're used to. Uh, you're sort of asking in that case to become very frustrated, but it can be a very powerful time to contemplate and consider what alliances are to you, what friendships are to you, what it means to share in a bigger way to reach more people than you have before with your unique expression. These are wonderful ways to contemplate and consider and incorporate this very powerful energy, this very powerful Aquarian energy of this time. Once we get into next week, along with that new moon, we will have such a conglomerate of planets, six planets in total, moving in the sign of Aquarius. And that makes for a special time, a time when more of us are willing to consider the future, a time when more of us are going to prioritize personal freedom and self-expression, and a time when more of us are going to be looking at not only what it means to be an individual, but how we can allow even more people to be their authentic and individual selves. This is part of a larger consideration. We are just at the beginning of this, but at least right now, that consideration seems to be one that can also bring some consensus, that can bring a sense of genuine love and ease into our lives and into the lives of others. As much as it is that we are willing to talk to each other, that people that you know, perhaps people who are acquaintances, you're connecting with them online, the more it is that we are willing to reconnect with people now, chances are the more it is that we set ourselves up really nicely for those big and beautiful and promising energies coming up right around the corner. What I love about this week for us, well look, as I said, life sometimes does not have nearly enough surprises. I think this week may prove that to us, especially as we move late into the week revelations, insights about love, about uh, what we truly want, about what brings us joy, about what it is to be authentically ourselves, all of this. Our answers may shock us, our answers may surprise us, but there's something honest here, there's something true here. Even with Mercury retrograde, sometimes with Mercury retrograde, we don't really know what we really want, and that's okay, we're considering different perspectives. But it is the energy now that invites us to elevate, to consider the future implications, to consider the future we desire to live, collectively, yes, but individually as well. What does it mean to be your most authentic self and how does that show up in different ways? Where is it that perhaps a concept, a vision of self is something that you desire to manifest and to live and to embody and where is there a disconnect and what can you do about it? These are all gonna be considerations that are on offer now. Some of the energy this week will be uncomfortable. Early in the week, there's frustration. Late in the week, there's restriction. There's a desire to break free. There's new information that feels uncomfortable. And yet it is necessary because this is about honesty and clarity. We are clearing the way for the very big and beautiful blessings coming up next week. Well, thank you so much for watching. What do you love about this week? Let me know in the comments below. I love reading you guys and to prove it to you, here are some of my most recent favorite comments. Thank you so much to everybody who interacts, who likes, subscribes, shares, thumbs up, uh, leaves comments, tells other people about uh, this channel and my work. I'm truly so very grateful for it, thank you. And of course, if you wanna know how all this wonderful stuff speaks to you in your sign, you can now join Superstar. Become one of my superstars for as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get unlimited access two weekly video scopes starting at just three dollars a month you get access to all signs these weekly videos that i put out there like my monthly videos except they break down the week ahead and help you to understand and make the most of these energies thank you so much to all the new superstars out there uh, the superstar base has really been growing and i'm so grateful for each and every one of you whether you've been part of superstar from the very beginning or whether it is that you're brand new to the superstar space, you are very welcome here. 
So you can log on to NadiaShawSuperstars.com. If you've been a superstar for a while, I would encourage you to log on to this new space uh, and you can contact us to transition your account over to the new space because it's a brand new platform. It's lightning fast. It's easy to upgrade or downgrade or cancel uh, and to access all the info. It's intuitive. It's easy. It's just such a great superstar experience. It's getting such great feedback. So thank you for that. So again, NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Synchronicity University has brand new classes and a brand new speaker series coming up ahead. So let's start with the spring session that has just been announced. Choose your tuition rate is in full effect until the end of February. So now you can sign up and join for as low as just $5 a class for the upcoming spring session. We've got lots of incredible classes to look forward to. We're going to continue looking at the eighth house, brand new houses as well. We're going to have a class on the astrology of scandals and accusations. We're going to have another class on uh, the astrology of the uh, galactic center and so much more. We are going to explore each house one at a time, three classes per house as we navigate through this year and beyond. And so, it is this spring session now that is on offer. Again, choose your tuition rate is happening right now as low as just $5 a class. If you are a titanium or platinum level superstar, you're already enrolled. You don't have to do anything. However, if you are somebody who would like to take advantage of this super low rate for classes of this caliber, or if you are one of the people who would like to access one of the limited number of scholarships available, click on the link below or go to synchronicityuniversity.com. Welcome to an all new speaker series special edition. And in this edition, we are looking at special topics outside of astrology, but still deeply connected to uh, amazing things that a lot of students want to learn about students of Synchronicity University. So we have Frank Clifford who's going to be back. He's a very popular teacher. And this time he's going to teach palmistry. And we are going to have my dear friend, Carrie Paris, renowned tarot creator, Terry <laughs> Carrie Paris. Uh, she is going to be teaching a class on casting. So this is a way of understanding the energies coming up and the future. She's going to explain it. There's going to be lots of practical things going on. I think that's going to be really great. Michael Bryan will be teaching Kabbalistic Tarot. I think that's going to be a wonderful insight, something that students had asked for. My dear friend, my brilliant friend, Katie Weber, world-renowned feng shui expert, is going to be teaching on the connection between astrology and feng shui. And my other dear friend, Franco. Well, look, Franco is going to be teaching on Viking runes. And so runes are a form of divination as well. Um, they are uh, connected to Norse mythology and so much more. He knows a lot more about it than I do. But I think that all of these different practices ultimately help us to understand ourselves, our intuition, uh, and to help us to divine uh, what our path may be and what a higher, more loving path may be for us. And so this is a special edition of Synchronicity University Speaker Series. I'm so excited to present this to you. And you can visit synchronicityuniversity.com or links are in the description below to get lots more info to sign up for as low as just $5 a class until the end of February. So there's really just four weeks to sign up uh, for this incredibly low rate. And I think that this is going to be so much fun. I think it's going to be so popular. I'm really looking forward to an incredible, lively uh, classroom experience online with all of you. And links again, description below or visit synchronicityuniversity.com. There is just one more day. This is the last day. January 31st is the last day to sign up for Michael Barwick's class at the incredibly low rate of just $5 a class. After the beginning of this week, the price is going to go up. The normal price is $35 a class. And so Michael Barwick is brilliant. He's taught with Synchronicity University before. And Michael is going to come back and he is going to take us to through 28 fixed stars. And one at a time, he's going to explain to us 
what it means when a fixed star is activating your natal chart and how that represents a celestial superpower, how to tap into that. Getting quality information on fixed stars in astrology is not easy. There's not a whole lot out there. And Michael knows so much. He's done so much research. And he's also an incredible teacher. He makes the information very accessible. So there really is very limited time. If you're watching this, especially if you're one of the first people watching this, you haven't signed up yet, please do. Links in the description below. I'm sure and I believe you'll absolutely love it. I know I'm going to learn so much about fixed stars with Michael Barwick as well. I'll be there with you in class. And I look forward to sharing this experience with you at synchronicityuniversity.com. And a last few quick announcements. My partnership with the iconic Astro Twins has been extended. It's still going on right now. I don't know for how long, but one thing that the Astro Twins did that I am so grateful for is that they've expanded the offering, made it that much more valuable. Now you get the entire tarot package of five classes plus my entire Astro Magic uh, package of three classes. Plus you get a download of their masterclass of 2021 and you get their book for 2021 as well. Their reference guide that I spoke all about with Ophi of the Astro Twins and the very uh, special conversation we had about the first quarter of 2021. So I will link to that below, but you can still take advantage of this incredible deal. Um, it's a huge discount uh, being offered and link is in the description below. So check that out because it is limited time and I'm so glad that so many of you have enjoyed it and now can continue to take advantage of this before it is gone. I mentioned my incredible friend, Katie Weber. Now, Katie Weber does have a success pack that she puts out every year. Her Year of the Ox success pack is out. I love this. I swear by this success pack. I get it every single year. I have for so many years, ever since I first discovered her work, and then I became her client, and then I became her friend, and now I get to rave to you about her and her work. And so, in this success pack, it's really practical. It shows you the energies, these what they call flying stars in Feng Shui, and it teaches you how to align your home with heaven in very practical ways and things that you can do to increase the energy of harmony and prosperity in every area of your life. Katie has helped me so much in so many ways. She really knows her stuff. And I am now able to present to you her incredible success fact for the year of the ox. The year of the ox starts in two weeks. So in just two weeks, you still have time to get this and to start implementing these wonderful suggestions that she has. Uh, everything from the luckiest wallet color and purse color. Now that's always my favorite section. That's the one I go to, any excuse <laughs> to buy a handbag, right? Uh, I'm, I can be such a girly girl. I've got a very strong Venus in my chart, but she's got lots of other suggestions as well. What to do with your house. If you've got any kind of cancer placement in your chart, you will really appreciate this. And so many others will as well. So again, Katie Weber's success pack for the year of the ox is out now. The Lunar New Year starts in just two weeks and links are in the description below. And finally, you can get my take on your unique birth chart now by checking out my partnership with Cosmogram. It's been such a rewarding experience partnering with Cosmogram. Uh, I spent a lot of time writing out these different sections, pouring over this. And basically what it is, is I uh, have all these different possible combinations written out and you put in your birth data and within hours you will get a PDF download uh, that looks at the unique combinations that you have in your chart and explains each of them to you. So this is looking at the planetary combinations. If you go onto the Cosmogram website, link in the description below, you'll be able to see a sample there. So you'll know exactly what it is that you're going to get. And again, it is delivered to you within hours. And so my partnership with Cosmogram, thank you so much to everybody out there who's loved these reports, who's utilized these reports. It does mean so much to me that I can be part of your uh, journey towards self-knowledge and your astrological journey as well. So if you would like to get one of these charts for you or for somebody that you know, link is in the description below. And thank you. Thank you so much for your trust, for your love, for 
your presence, for all the wonderful ways in which you bless my life. I'm truly so grateful for it. I'm grateful for you watching. I'm really looking forward to the energies of this week. It's going to be a surprise, that's for sure. I think all of us in at least one area of life are going to find ourselves awakened in some way. Uh, but awakening is good. Even if it feels like it comes about in an experience or in a moment that maybe doesn't always feel good, uh, we can be very grateful for it. And ultimately, it is that awakening and the space that it creates, the truth and the light that it creates, which will help us to welcome in the very big blessings coming up next week of the most romantic day of the year, of that very powerful, energized new moon. And I'll talk all about that when we get there. So again, thank you. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great week. Enjoy.